There are two sub back families. For for this parameter of variant factor. So underneath this, there's two two groups that comprise this. There's para mixo vir rene. Okay, so the difference between the name is literally just one letter, B and N. And then interestingly enough, the next family is para mixo Vir day, which is the same thing. I don't know why they named it. They came up with this naming scheme, but it is what it is. So, okay. Um, so for paramixel beer day, or paramixel beer day, when you hear this, think of these diseases. Just think of measles, mumps, and para influenza. And then, so, there, so there's the family Paramyxoviridae, the subfamily is Paramyxoviridae, and Paramyxoviridae. And within the paramyxoviridae, um, you know, three main diseases, you know, measles, mumps, parent influenza, but these also belong in their sub subgroup. So group of group of groups. Measles belong to um, Morbilla virus. So if ever you were asked a question, oh, what group is measles, and they wanted you to go down to the most specific group as possible, I guess you would say, oh, it's part of paramyx, it's part of the mobile virus group, which is the subgroup, which is part of the paramyx, mixovirine subgroup, which is part of paramyx virine family. I don't think Dr. Sam would ever ask a question like that. But hey, it's there. Maybe this will probably come in handy when you're in the lab or something, which I unfortunately am not. Paramyxoviridae. So this, by the way, parainfluenza is different from the influenza that we cover in class. So stuff like influenza A or just H1N1 flu or swine flu and all stuff, that is part of orphan week severe day. This one to differentiate this influenza from the other flu by the word, word para. Okay, so para makes severe day though. This is one subgroup that Dr. Sarah went over, which is pneumo severe day. Human respiratory syncytial virus. Um, and that is a part of the pneumoviridae. Or, yeah. So pneumoviridae and these virus that belong to the respiratory. I don't know what the symptoms of this are, but I'm just saying that bad stuff happens to your lungs. Okay, so take a moment, pause the video. Um, I might actually cut this up into separate parts for you guys. We'll see what will happen.